works. Converting a float to an integer works. Converting float string to an integer. Converting float string to integer. Okay. That sounds spicy. No. So, if you want to convert a string to an integer, you must the content of the string must be an integer number. Exactly. So no. There is no work around. Mm -hmm. So n nothing is allowed beside the. But integer. there is no work around to go with um, Well, if you know that the string contains a float, you can of course chain the, the thing. Yes, you must know what your string contains, which is probably good programming practice anyway. Okay, you should probably ask a question on conversion to floats. So, okay, this is easy. I need to convert this to an integer. I just strip but this if part. If you have multiple positions after the dot, can you tell him how many positions you want to use to convert to the integer? Or I mean, it's like normal rounding. If I yeah, let's find out. That's that's the point. So forty two dot zero, we know that's forty two. Yeah. And this is still forty two. This is still forty two. So just truncates. If you want to round, there's a round function in the standard library that lets you specify no. rounding. Okay. okay, and then you want, might want to convert anything to a string, and that's the str function. That should work with any Python object. str with nothing just gives you the empty string. Okay, and another feature of Python functions is that it's very easy to define uh, so-called variadic functions. So functions that accept um, a variable and determine number of arguments. Two simplest examples are min and max functions, which take a number of objects and return the minimum or the maximum of them. Okay, and then I usually say this, uh, if you only need to remember one function in Python, then remember this one. So help on any function name will give you the online help for that function. So they say you don't remember what the main function does. Say help min and you get the description of min. You can also access um, topics, specific topics, uh, and in case you don't know that the uh, uh, string is str, you can look for strings, topics, etc. You can list them all, etc. Although Google is Google is <laughs> 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 <It's> faster. faster. <laughs> Python tutorial is well. <laughs> I forgot we have one uh, list of function like. Uh, from some library I can use help get. Good yes. question. We'll find out after lunch. <laughs> okay. So how do you define your own functions which makes things interesting? Def is the keyword for defining your function. So you say def function name, and then parenthesize list of arguments. 
and then a column. Do not forget the column. That's the thing everyone does at the start. So do not forget the column. So the important thing to remember in Python is that indentation is significant. So white space at the beginning of the line is has syntactical meaning. So there are no opening and closing braces in Python. So you do not delimit blocks with these two guys. You delimit blocks of code by indenting.